MetaMiner allows users to perform deep and wide enterprise search across all of their BI assets. We liken MetaMiner to something like a Google for your BI4 or XI3 landscape. In the next few moments, let's answer a few key questions and how we can use this type of rapid enterprise search along with questions that we have about understanding the composition of our business object deployment and getting quick answers to some of the questions you see before you. For example, I can't find a specific document. Where could it be? Let's start MetaMiner, launch Connection Manager, and identify the MetaMiner server to which we want to connect. Once we do so, we notice that there's three environments present and available for analysis. BI4.1, BI4 Dev4, and MMTest1260. We apply the connection, and now we can freely and quickly browse all of our enterprise BI assets. So my first question is, how do I find amongst the tens of thousands of objects in my CMS a specific document? The answer is quite easy. We simply go into the quick search bar, and we go ahead and type in any string or search term imaginable. In the case here, I typed in sales. By typing sales, MetaMiner immediately identifies any folder or object that has that term in it. So what we can see here is that you have a number of folders as well as objects that have that term sales. I can further filter the data and choose to only look at non-instances. So when we click on hide all instances, you can see here that where I had some instance data before, it's now filtered to only show me uh, my primary or base reports. Our next question, who are the primary content owners? Again, a very simple question to answer. We can do it one of two ways. I can click on my master filter reset, and then I can collapse this filter group and now go to owners. And here you'll notice that under owners, we have several different users and by clicking on each one we filter the entire CMS or multiple CMS's in this case we have three environments and when we do that we can see that for example administrator owns all of the content as you can see in this column across some public folders um, and, and other locations in the CMS. Of course the other way to analyze that is to run a freehand query against our MetaMiner database within our integrated SQL work branch. To do that, I type in select documents.owner, and then I can do something like count documents ID, CMS ID from documents group by documents owner and documents.cms ID. I format my statement and then I click on run. And once I do that we can again very easily see that within this CMS I've got 538 documents or objects owned by administrator etc etc. I can expand this query and add documents.kind. And when I do that what you'll notice is that my query, or the results, will now have additional types. Okay, And again, like all the other components within the MetaMiner user interface, we have the capability to perform an extremely fast, nearly instantaneous high-speed search across any form of a result or data visualization. In this case here, I just want to look at my web intelligence types and look at all of the uh, owners of the web intelligence reports across three CMS repositories. So I type in Webby and you can see here that Webby is uh, mo mo mostly owned by administrator and BI4.1 admin. The next question, how much disk space is used by my documents? Now as you've seen before, MetaMiner has the ability to perform integrated querying within the MetaMiner database that it uses to perform analysis. In our scenario here, we can actually click on Open from MMDB, where we store 
infolytic pre-built queries to answer some of these common uh, analytical questions. So when I click on Open MMD MMDB, you'll see here that we have two pre-built scripts in our internal catalog. And the one that's interesting to me is the second one. Retrieve a listing of all CMS documents and file size by folder path. So we go ahead and run this query. And now what we can do is see, in fact, that by size, or size kilobytes, we have each complete folder path and the CMS in which that folder path exists. Our last question, when was the last time a universe was updated? When was the last time it was created? Again, we can go back to our SQL Workbench and create a brand new query. And now we're querying against the table called semantic layer. I run that query, and let's actually bring in the name of the universe. Okay, and now I can either click on the headers and sort it right within the table from created or updated. And it's really just that easy. Our last question. Was there any new content in my CMS within the last 10 days? Going back to the MetaMiner client, we click on the CMS Explorer tab, we reset all filters, and then click on Collapse All Nodes. When we do that, we can quickly see a high-level view of all the core content areas of the different environments that we have, and the total number of objects that are stored within each one. So, in public folders, I've got 31 um, you know, subfolders underneath that folder, etc., etc. Now, what I'd like to do is create a filter on all the content created within the last 10 days. So I click on creation time, and what we'll do here is scroll all the way to the current year, and then going 10 days back from the start date, we'll select January the 22nd, or let's go to January the 20th. And then for the f end date, we'll pick on the 29th. Once we do that, immediately you can see all the content here presented in my display. January the 22nd, 26th, 26th, etc., etc.